Okay, so uh, I'm going to go through how to do all these examples from your quiz review. So here it says use x and y intercepts to graph each equation. So I'm going to take this and find the x intercept and y intercept and then graph. So to find the x intercept, remember we need to make y zero. So I'm going to rewrite the equation 4x plus 3y equals 12. I'm going to make this y into a zero because whenever it crosses this x axis, the line, y is always zero. So it's going to be 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 12. So 3 times 0 is just 0. So it's actually just 4x over here because adding 0 doesn't do anything. So it's actually 4x equals 12 divide by 4 divide by 4 x equals 3. Now remember we plugged 0 in for y so when x is 3 y is 0. So it's actually 3 0. We're going to do the same thing for the y intercept but Instead of making x, or instead of making y zero, we're going to make x zero. Because when you find the y-intercept, that's when it crosses the y-axis. And look, x is always zero. So it's the same equation, 4x plus 3y equals 12, but now we're going to make this x into a zero. And 4 times zero is just zero, so we're just left with 3y equals 12. Divide by 3 on both sides. And y equals 4. And remember, when x was 0, y was 4. So that point is uh, 0, 4. So now we plot it. Uh, 3, 0 is right here. And 0, 4 is right here. And this gives us a nice negative slope. Same thing for number 2. For the x-intercept, let's make y 0. So we're going to use the x minus 5y equals negative 10. So uh, we're going to, it's going to be x minus 5 times 0 equals negative 10. Uh, and x minus 0 is just x, so it's going to be x equals negative 10. And remember, we plugged the 0 in for y, so it's going to be negative 10, 0. Uh, and now for the y-intercept, x is going to be 0. So it's going to be x minus 5y equals negative 10, and it's going to be 0 minus 5y equals negative 10. Now here's where people get confused. This 0 minus 5y means that this 5y is negative. It's going to be negative 5y equals negative 10. And we, to, get the, to isolate that variable, to get the y alone, we divide by negative 5. So y is actually going to be 2. And remember, we plugged a 0 in for x, so that point's going to be uh, 0, 2. So let's plot them. Negative 10, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Negative 10, 0 is right here for the x-intercept. And then the y-intercept is at 0, 2, which is right here. And we can graph that. All right. Next, find the slope given the two points. So we're always going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this will be our uh, x1, y1, and our x2, y2. So it's going to be 18 minus 6 over 5 minus 2. 18 minus 6 is 12. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now we can't keep it like this. We have to reduce it. And 12 divided by 3, you could reduce it to 4 over 1 or 4. All right, let's try this one. x1, y1 x2, y2. So 3 minus 0 over, because, right, y2 minus y1, 3 minus 0, negative 1 minus negative 4. This is going to throw people off. So 3 minus 0 is just 3, negative 1 minus negative 4. So that's one bad guy, four good guys. We're left with uh, three good guys. 3 divided by 3, you could reduce to 1 over 1 or 1. All right, over here, x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's going to be 2 minus negative 3 over negative 12 minus negative 5. Uh, keep, so let's, I'll do keep change opposite door method. Keep change opposite, keep change opposite. So 2 plus 3 is 5, negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. So it would be negative 5 over 7 or uh, 5 over negative 7, either one works. All right, 
put each graph into slope-intercept form, or sorry, put each equation into slope-intercept form. So remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So we want to put this into y equals mx plus b. So we actually need to get this y alone over here. So let's get rid of this positive 4x by subtracting it. And remember, we can't combine 12 and negative 4x, so we have to just keep it like that. But we want to put the y for, or sorry, we want to put the x first. So let's go negative 4x plus 12. And it's a negative 4x because we're subtracting 4x. And it's a plus 12 because it's positive 12. So that cancels. We're just left with a positive 3y. But we don't want to know what 3y is. We want to know what y is. So let's divide everything by 3. And you've got to divide everything by 3. So that cancels. We're left with y equals, and you just keep this negative 4 over 3, x plus 4, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So over here, same thing. Let's get y equals mx plus b. Right now, there's a positive x, so let's subtract x from both sides. Um, so we're left with negative 5y over here, because it's minus 5y, equals, let's put the x first, because it's mx plus b, Negative x, because it's minus... Mrs. Randall, if you're in the building, could you please stop down for market day? Mrs. Randall, if you're in the building, please stop down for market day. So negative x, and you do a minus 10. So now we got to get rid of this uh, negative 5 times y, divide by negative 5, everything. So that cancels. We're left with y equals... Now this is weird. Negative x over negative... You know it's going to be positive, right? Because negative divided by negative. But what's actually in front of that x? Well, it's a 1. Because any variable, put a 1 in front of it. So that's actually going to be 1 fifth x plus 2. Because negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2. All right. Here we need to graph these. So uh, first thing we do is look at this y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 2, so that's where my first point goes. Then uh, we're going to use this slope. One, rise 1, run 4. Rise 1, run 4. And we'll, we'll do that a couple times until we run out of graph. Rise 1, run 4. And we kind of ran out of room here. Uh, we can also go opposite. Positive 1 over positive 4 is the same as negative 1 over negative 4. So let's go down 1 to the left 4. Down 1 to the left 4. And we have this nice slope. And it's a positive slope. And look, the slope is positive. All right, number 9 here. First point is at 7 because that's the y-intercept. Now, we only have one number for our slope. Well, any whole number, remember, is actually over 1. So our rise would be negative 3. Our run would be 1. Rise, negative 3, run 1. And let's keep doing that until we run out of graph. And again, negative 3 over positive 1 is the same as positive 3 over negative 1. So let's go up 3 and to the left 1. All right. And we have this negative slope. Okay. All right. Uh, these are the tough ones, 10 and 11. So we need to write the equation of the line that passes through each pair of points in slope-intercept form. Uh, first thing we're going to do is find the slope. And remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, here's our x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so it's going to be 11 minus 5 over 7 minus 5. So that's going to be 4, sorry, 6 over 2, which is just Three. Now, it's, it's easier to keep it like this. And remember, this is your slope, so this is your m. So now we're going to put it into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to plug 3 in for my m. That's what I just figured out for slope. And for x and y, I'm going to use these. So I'll, I'll use this one, 7 and 11. So I'm going to plug this 7 in for x. And b, we don't know, so I'm going to keep it b. But for y, plug in 11. So it's going to be 11. Uh, remember, uh, Plug in what you don't know. Sorry, plug in what you know to find what you don't know. All right, 3 times 7 is 21 plus b equals 11. Let's solve for b. Subtract 21 because it's positive. So b is actually negative 10. So now we know our m, we know our b, we're ready to write our equation. So it's going to be y equals mx plus b, so 3x minus 10. Now it could be plus negative 10, that's fine. And it could be 3 over 1, that's fine. All right, number 11. Uh, same thing. Let's start with the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's going to be 13 minus 8 over 10 minus 0. 13 minus 8 is 5. 10 minus 0 is 10. 5 tenths. And that reduces. You have to reduce it to 1 half. And that'll be your slope, your m. So let's put it into y equals mx plus b. 
Um, so we know our m is 1 half, and we know our x, let's use z, 0 and 8. We know our x is 0 plus b, because we don't know that, and our y is 8. So uh, 1 half times 0 is just 0, so we have 0 plus b equals 8. And that plus 0 doesn't even mean anything, so it's actually b equals 8. Uh, so now we plug it into y equals mx plus b form. y equals m is 1 half, so 1 half x plus 8, because that's your b. All right, great job. Study up.